I'm a little nervous today, boys. Oh, well, yeah? Why is that, Smitty? My parents are coming to town. Wow. Oh, that is such a drag. Oh, God. I mean, you've got to hide all of your Tom of Finland calendars, yeah. your porn. Oh, and you've got to strip your record collection of all your dance divas and repaint. Yeah. And... Well, that's just it. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the closet. I'm going to tell them I'm gay. Wow. I could never tell my parents I'm gay. Because I'm not really, you know, I'm just really sexual. Yeah. Well, how about really, really, really sexual? When did your parents find out, Riley? Oh, well, my parents don't know. What? <laughs> your parents don't know? How could they not? I mean, you know, you're so feminine. I am not a feminine. I'm just classy. I, I don't read gay, unlike you. Wow. How can we call ourselves grown-ups unless we're honest with our parents? We owe them the truth. Look, I owe my parents exactly $770 from university. After that, we're just good friends. Well, I have to go. I told them I'd meet them at Pestles at 6. Wish me luck. Okay. Good luck. See you later. Uh, go out and have a coffee. I really value our friendship. Okay. Excuse me. Can you tell me where the crab shampoo is? <laughs> what kind of shampoo, sir? You know, crab shampoo. Shampoo for my crabs. I, I got crabs in my pubic hair. Or is it just all get out? I think we have some over here. Ah, good. See, uh, I'm not from here. I'm, uh, I'm from America, so I'm not familiar with the crab shampoo section in these here Canadian drugstores. Here you go, sir. Hey, no, 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 no. Come on, you got anything uh, bigger? I mean, I'm talking crabs, son. There must be a million of them suckers squirming around down there. <laughs> hey, you know what funny thing is? Crabs, they actually look like crabs. I noticed that last night as I was examining them under my magnifying glass. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, there, Richie. Hey, you got a, a back scratcher or something? Do you have those kind of things up here in Canada? Yeah, uh, over there. Yeah? Uh, oh, well, there you go. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to buy one. I just want to borrow one for a second. <laughs> hey there, little darling. Here you go. Oh, thank you. All right, now, let's see. Well, this ought to work. I mean, I know this would kill American crabs, but these here Canadian crabs are tenacious little mothers. <laughs> It'll do it, sir. Yeah, okay. Well, is there anywhere where I can try this thing out, like a changing room or something? Do you have those kind of things up here in Canada? Yes, we do, but not in drugstores. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll have to take my chances. Now, I don't want you thinking I got crabs all the time, you know. Just sometimes I get all horned up and I forget to put on my little rubber friend. You understand that, don't you? Okay. I just want to say that you Canadians, you got a beautiful country down here. Except for that crab problem. <laughs> Thanks again. Hey, little darn. You want to step out sometime? No, you've got crabs. Duh, that's why I got the crab shampoo. <laughs> Get rid of them. Look, tell you what, you give me half an hour, you come on up to my hotel room. I'll be clean as a whistle. Hey, bet I kiss better than your daddy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I loves you, baby. I really loves you. I love you too so much. However much you loves me, I loves you back double. Because I really loves you. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it's time for us to make a commitment. I am committed to you, baby, 183%. More when I'm rested. I am committed to you, baby. Oh. Baby, you. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. I was just thinking that it's time we made an, an actual commitment to each other. How more committed can I be? Baby, you say jump. I do not say how high. I say, what do you want me to get when I'm up there? The moon, <laughs> the stars, the Milky Way. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, yeah. Well... I think we should move in together. I think we're ready for that. Baby, I was born ready for that. Really, when? Yesterday. Seriously? The day before yesterday. Last week, baby, I don't care. When I'm with you, I feel like we've been living together ever and always. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah, but how do you actually want to go about this? I mean, uh, uh, should I move my stuff in here or do you want to move your stuff into my place? Baby, I only got one piece of furniture. And that's my heart. <laughs> I hope I don't scratch up the walls of your heart when I move it on in. <laughs> Look, do you want to do this or, or not? Baby, want, need. If I don't do this, you might as well kill me right here, right now. Don, you know, I'm, I'm having a little difficulty telling when you're being sincere. <laughs> then look into my eyes. See the sincerity. Sincerity is an apple hanging off a sincerity tree. Pluck it and take a bite of my nice... Juicy sincerity. So... I love you and you love me, right? Aren't you hearing me, baby? I loves you. And you think that we should move in together? I think we should move together, if you know what I mean. No. I think we should move together, in. Like I should move and you should move and we should move in, together. Keep moving, in. And moving in, together in, moving. Okay, hold on. I think I've got this here. Okay, so then, um, so I'm going to go to my place, right? And I'm going to pack up all of my stuff, and I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to move in here with you. Baby. <laughs> okay. I love you, baby, but I don't love myself. I can't live with you because I can't live with myself. I love you too. Would you like some tea? I don't like tea. It's chamomile tea. I said I don't like tea. I have lots of tea. I have English breakfast, orange pico, lemon zinger. Remove your jacket, please. <clears throat> Breathe deeply. Tickles, you bastard. Well, Mr. Tizan, everything appears to be normal. You say you're having trouble sleeping at night? Not a wink. Well, then, what I'd like to do is take a blood test and we'll see if everything is in order. Roll up your sleeve, please. <laughs> Hello. This appears to be tea. The problem is obvious. You're drinking too much tea, and too much of anything isn't good for you. You must stop drinking tea. Tea, tea, tea. Stop, stop, stop. Stop the tea. Stop the tea. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. This is where I get out. Thanks awfully for the lift. Taxi. Downtown.
I will never drink tea again. Gotta have, gotta have tea. Gotta have, gotta have tea. Must need, must need tea. Must need, must need tea. Gotta have, gotta have tea. Gotta have. Looking for me. Tea. Why must you taunt me like this? Come on. Dunk me. You know you want to dunk me. So why don't you? You're not real. I'm just going through the DTs. T, be gone. Just going through the DTs. 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 Come on. Lick my bag. I go good with these. Not Scott. You are a cruel giant tea bag. Join me. The water is hot and steamy. I did it. I did it. I beat the tea. I don't need tea. I'm better than tea. Me one, tea nothing. I hate the tea. I am honestly better than the tea. I just really don't like... Hey, that's my tea. Give me the tea, you bastard. <laughs> I have fallen off the wagon, for I am a slave to tea. Mr. Jones. Hi, Mr. Tori. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Have a seat. Ah, thank you. So, what can we do for you today? I'm looking for a loan. Ah, and what would this be for? I have a revolutionary idea for a new restaurant. Really? Let's hear all about mm -hmm. it. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Tori. Where can you go in this town to get a really fine boiled potato? <laughs> a boiled potato? Yes, I mean, a lot of restaurants offer you french fries or home fries or even a baked potato, but where can you go to get a really fine boiled potato? Well, I'm sure there must be places that serve a boiled potato. Oh, there? certainly. There may be a handful of places that offer the opportunity to experience an inferior version of the boiled potato. But I'm talking about a restaurant that specializes in the boiled potato and only the boiled potato. So you would only serve boiled potatoes? No. We would also serve a very fine potato broth. Do you mean like a potato soup? Some no, soup? a potato broth. It is the water in which the potato was boiled. Okay, Mr. Jones, I really don't think that our bank... Please, don't my... rely on my word alone. What about the testimony of two passers-by? Excuse me. Gee, honey, that was some great boiled potato. <laughs> oh, sure, home-cooked. But someday I'd like to dress up nice and go out and have a boiled potato. <laughs> maybe someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> you see? The public's clamoring for this idea. Mr. Jones, I'm busy. Would you get out, please? <laughs> oh, okay. Although I, I do have another idea, but it's not so good. <laughs> oh, really? And what would that be? Well, it's crack. <laughs> Yeah, it's a smokable form of cocaine that appeals to a larger segment of the population. I know what crack is, Mr. Terrific. Jones. Terrific. Well, I already have a large distribution team in place. All I need is a startup investment and... Uh... Okay, I'm in. Really? Yeah, I know. Well, crack, Great, crack. Great, you can help me sell my crack. Yeah. 
Sorry about that bad crack, honey. I just don't know how to cook it. Maybe someday a large distribution team will... Don't worry about it. He's in. Oh, oh. great. <laughs> So, what's this movie all about, anyway? You haven't heard about Intimate Circumstances? No. It's Hollywood's first big film about gay men. It's supposed to be the first real honest look at our lives. Well, besides porno. I heard there's a really sexy scene in which Andrew Baldwin and Dennis Corday really make out. Wow, they're hot. Well, let's go. For the chairs, the gay and lesbian community needs this picture. You know, I heard that Dennis Corday is gay. Oh? Hmm? Yeah, I heard that Andrew Baldwin's gay too. <laughs> and apparently Mimi Hartley is a big dyke. <laughs> oh, Norman Windsor's definitely straight. He's a liberal. <sighs> They're terrible in bed. But I'm a liberal. <laughs> hey, why don't you finish shoveling my uh, driveway if you've got the time? Your first snow, huh? Actually, I'm from Florida. It's uh, my first snow ever. Oh, well, you handle your shovel like you've been doing it all your life. <laughs> the name's Pruitt. Bob Pruitt? Oh. Bill Spangle. I uh, live next door. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Hi. Hi, honey. I saw you talking to the new neighbor. What's his name? Uh, Pruitt. Bob Pruitt. He's from Florida. How old? Andrew Baldwin. No way, he's Jewish. Car problems? Yeah, it uh, won't go. Oh, well, it was minus 30 last night. You should have plugged it in. Plugged it in? Yeah, you know, when you plug it. Florida, right? Okay, uh, when it gets really cold out, right? You uh, plug the car into an outlet, and the outlet powers a heater, and that heater keeps the car warm so that it can start the next morning. So you just plug it in? Yeah, you just plug it in. It keeps it hot. Wow, he said hot. Yeah. Shh. <sighs> One hour into the movie, that's the first time they've even touched. Yeah, they haven't even taken their coats off yet. I know, but I think we've seen like Mimi's tits like seven times. It's about you, don't you, William? How could you do that? Eight. <laughs> Eight. Eight. There's still 40 Your minutes wife. left. Oh, great. Huh? I saw the both of you, and it made me sick. You don't understand. 
Nothing's happened yet. Yet? Yet? Well, how long till yet? Yeah, tell me about it, sister. You want it to happen, don't you? Yeah. You do. Well, Willie, baby, you and Mr. Bob Pruitt from Florida can just hop on Flipper and say goodbye. Flipper? Who wrote this movie? Ivan Tars. Oh, this movie sucks. It's the worst movie ever about fags. It's the worst movie ever about anything. I mean, if this movie was about vegetables, then it would be the worst movie ever about vegetables. Yeah. Don't judge it yet. The advocate loved it. Apparently, all the good stuff happens at the end. So let's just wait and see. Uh, well, I'm too bored to wait. I'm gonna go for a piss and a pop. Oh, get me another Pepsi. No problem. Shh. Problem. And when the sparks fly, what happens here? She never understood our intimate circumstances. That does it. Hmm? I'm officially outraged. Hollywood has failed the gay community once again. I never really expect much from Hollywood, so I'm never disappointed. What I can't believe is that they made this whole big movie and they never once showed Andrew Baldwin's chest. I mean, that's just bad business sense. Uh. Hey, where's Butch? Mm. Hi. So where's my Pepsi? Oh, um, <clears throat> I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. <laughs> Great movie, huh? 